Now this presentation is decimal fractions. That's our topic for today. Decimal fractions. Introduction to quantity. Now we already know this. What is this? It's a unit. That's correct. And here we see that the unit is divided into 10 equal pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the unit, see, the unit here is divided into 10 equal pieces. And we already know that one of these pieces, we call it 1 tenth. So this is one tenth. We already know that. Now I'm going to show you this cube, which is also one tenth. So this is one tenth. And remember, we also represent the one unit with this bead, if you remember. So this is a unit. This is a tenth. Now let's put the unit bit away and also let's put this part here. So we have said that this is one tenth, this is also one tenth, and so let's put the cubes on the tenth. It's one tenth, one tenth, one tenth, a tenth, a tenth. A tenth, a tenth, a tenth, a tenth. So let's bring the unit bead back. This is our unit bead, and this is our tenth, one tenth. So we have said if we have a unit divided into ten equal pieces, each of those pieces is called a tenth. So this is the one tenth. Now suppose we divide each tenth into ten equal pieces. So if we divide each tenth into ten equal pieces, maybe I should bring this to help our imagination. So what we are saying is that if we divide each of these tenths this tenth into ten equal pieces. What do you think our whole unit will be? Now you have to think very well about it. If you divide each of these tenths into ten equal pieces, that means we would have divided the whole unit into one hundred equal pieces. And each of those pieces will be called one hundredth. This is one hundredth. Ten hundredths make one tenth. Ten tenths make one unit. Now suppose we were to divide each of the hundredths into ten equal pieces. So I said you have to think. So if we divide each of the hundredths into 10 equal pieces. It means that our whole unit would have been divided into 1,000 equal pieces. One of them would be called a thousandth. This is a thousandth. 10 thousandths make one hundredth. 10 hundredths make one tenth. Ten tenths make one unit. Now suppose we were to divide each of the thousands into ten equal pieces. Then our unit would have been divided into ten thousand equal pieces. One of them would be a ten thousandth. Ten thousandth. This is a ten thousandth. 
Ten ten thousands make one thousand. Ten thousands make one hundred. Ten hundreds make one tenth. Ten tenths make one unit. I'm not done yet. Suppose I divide each of these ten thousand into ten equal pieces. It means I would have divided the unit into 100 equal pieces. Each of those pieces will be called a hundred thousandth. Each of those pieces will be called a hundred thousandth. This is it, hundred thousandth. Ten hundred thousandths make one ten thousandth. Ten ten thousandths make one thousandth. Ten thousandths make one hundredth. Ten hundredths make one tenth. Ten tenths make one unit. Suppose I divide this one hundred thousand into ten equal pieces. It means I would have divided this one whole into one million equal pieces. Each of those pieces is a million. This is it. A million. This is a million. It's actually a bit lighter than the thousand. So this is a million. Ten millions make one hundred thousands. Ten hundred thousands make one ten thousand. Ten ten thousands make one thousand. Ten thousands make one hundred. Ten hundreds make one tenth. Ten tenths make one unit. So I want us to recap what we have said. Ten millions equal to one hundred thousand. Ten hundred thousands equal to one ten thousand. Ten ten thousands equal to one thousand. Ten thousands equal to one hundred. Ten hundredths equal to one tenth. And ten tenths equal to one unit. That is introduction to quantity. There's more fractions.